Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be going over a recent change that was just announced today and I wanted to get on this early because there is a lot to unpack when it comes to this change. Yes, you're going to look at it and on the surface it's going to be a very minor change. You're not going to see too many things to be discussed here. However, there's a lot going on in the background that I really want to talk about and I'm curious on everybody's thoughts because there's going to be a lot of thoughts on this. I'm not even sure if I've fully processed how I feel about this change yet, but I really wanted to get this video out for you guys and we're going to discuss and we're going to jump into pretty much the major point of this news and that is that previously our premier challenges and our mid-season showdowns, those are going to be no more and they're going to transition us to very similar to what the trading card game is using right now and that is going to be called League Challenges and League Cups. And Basically, that's not a major change, right? League challenges are similar to premier challenges and mid-season mid showdowns and league cups pretty much line up very well. The one minor difference is the championship points payouts for the challenges. I'll get into that shortly because we don't actually have those official numbers. But the major change with this ruling is VGC Circuit is now officially going to start for next season on July 1st. Meaning, before this season, uh, before this season TCG players and I believe some of Pokemon Go as well, could begin their season in July 1st, leading up to Worlds, to get a head start for next season. VGC never had that. We were our own circuit. We always started back up in September. And like I said in a few other videos, we had this sort of off-season. We don't have that anymore. We get able to start earning uh, points for our next invite as of July 1st, and that is a huge plus. That is the upside to this. There is absolutely no downside to starting out July 1st earlier unless you were looking for a little bit of a break, which in that case may be a little bit of a downside. But overall, I think that is a very healthy change and that's the main takeaway I wanted to take from this email here, which is solid. And there's a lot going on here, right? I want to get into the TCG, the point distribution now, right? The league challenge as of last season or the season that just happened was a first place was 15 points, second place was 12, and then third and fourth was 10, and so on. You guys can see the chart here. I'm not going to read all the way through it. Uh, but this is a massive change because last season we had premier challenges, and our premier challenges granted 30 points for a win, not 15. So the CP is quite literally going down quite a bit. After that, it doesn't. the fall-off isn't too bad, right? I believe second was a 16, and now it's a 12, which isn't too big of a difference. And then it was a 12, and now it's a 10 for top four, which is perfectly fine. And once again, guys, these are last season's numbers. These have not been updated for the new season. Do I think they are going to change them? I would think it's very unlikely. However, they could very easily throw a curveball, maybe restructure a few things, and these numbers could easily change. So I'm basing this off of last year's numbers right now, just because we don't, don't have the current numbers. Just keep that in mind. Of course, the League Cup exactly the same points payout wise as the midseason showdown so i think that's a perfectly fine change nothing wrong there uh the lower point payout from the league challenges is going to be a little frustrating especially for those players that are having a, l a rougher time traveling to events right and that's going to be a downgrade that is going to be a massive downgrade there's not much to really say there that hurts everybody that can't really travel as much, right? Maybe you're a player that gets to maybe one, maybe two regionals a season, right? It's tough to travel. It is expensive to travel. This change is going to hurt unless they modify this payout moving into the next season, which it makes sense to me that they are going to lower it. We had 800 invites this year. I think I was looking maybe a little bit more. I'm not going to speak my thoughts on that. I think 800, I mean, hey, you know what? I'm happy, I'm happy everybody qualifies, but I can understand from Pokemon's perspective why they may want a little bit less people at their world championships. I'm not going to speak on that. I'm, I'm all for, hey, let's get everybody to the world championships. It was great seeing so many of my friends qualify this year. But I can see from Pokemon's perspective why they would want to knock this down a little bit. And I'm curious to see if they do modify this, maybe make it like a 20, somewhere in between, so it's not as low, but it's not as high. But I'll see, only time will tell on that one, I can't really discuss that farther. My main thing now, is because they are changing us, uh, changing Premier Challenges and Mid-Season Showdowns, they are now lining us up with the, the trading card game, which isn't a bad thing, once again, I understand their standpoint to that as well. Hey, let's line everything up so it kind of is a lot more similar and it's not so different between games. That just makes sense to me, right? My main problem with this 
is what goes in on the back end of league challenges and league cups. So long story short, let me pull up Billa's tweet real quick. And we are now linked to the stores themselves, right? We're linked to the leagues. So I don't know the exact schematics of this. I don't know the exact logistics. But from my understanding, it is basically what used to happen is the VGC events used to be linked to the organizer. However, now these events are linked to the league. And the problem with that is sometimes certain venues had numerous organizers host out of that venue. I know there was a scene close by to me that, that, that had, I think, three or four TOs hosting out of the one venue. And that is going to take a hit because now each scene needs to be linked to a different league or a different, or a different store, so to speak. right? And because of that, I think a lot of local scenes are going to take a hit. Because a lot of those card stores, they are going to spend their time as Bill mentions here, hosting trading card game stuff. They're not going to open up for VG. If they have to pick between a video game event or a trading card event, I would imagine nine times out of 10, they're going to want to pick the video game event. Sorry, the, t the trading card game event. Don't let me get that wrong. Um, but basically this makes sense, right? The trading card game players are the ones going in there. They are the ones buying the cards. Yes, you're going to get a little bit of sales from the VGC players, but you're not going to get nearly as many as the TCG players, right? So some of these locations that are already linked to a TCG league, they may not open up to a VGC organizer hosting from there. And that is going to be a problem. We are going to have less locals because of that. Unless there's something I'm missing, this is really, really unfortunate. This is a massive change, and it definitely is going to affect a huge chunk of local scenes. Obviously, for me, I don't know what those local scenes are going to be just yet. I don't know the full impact of this, but this could technically be a huge problem moving forward. Once again, we're going to switch over to tweets here, and this one is Adi, a.k.a. CK49. Those of you may know him from Tub Takes. Those of you may know him from his YouTube channel as well. But once again, just he's saying it's frustrating despite VGC's incredibly growth that we play Pokemon insists on tying us to TCG in ways that just don't make sense. And I don't think I could have worded my thoughts any better than that. I think this is incredible. This is incredibly worded. It's, exa it's, it's exactly what I'm trying to say, right? And I think it's a great reason to put it on the, uh, on the screen right now. And it's, it's just frustrating because it feels like when I was growing up or when I was gro getting into the scene back in like 2016, 2017, my friends used to joke, oh, we were treated like the side event. And now it's like they're trying to merge us with TCG, but they're doing it in ways that are actually hurting us without realizing that maybe it's hurting us. I don't know how else to word that. But overall, this is another huge hurdle. It's a roadblock, as Audie put it, for what's going on in the scene right now. And, and like, we were experiencing growth, and this just hurts. Once again, the July 1st change is awesome. You know, maybe linking us up to TCG so things are a little bit less sporadic, also probably fine. But you have to make it compatible in a way that actually function for the VGC scene. It's almost as if they're trying to force the TCG adjustments onto us and that is actively going to hurt us moving forward right and it's just one of those ones that it really just sucks because you always see these events getting larger right we've seen our numbers grow when i was first learning the game the regionals had like 100 people max right you got 120 people at the regional you were laughing we just had i think what was it record-breaking seasons record-breaking numbers i think we had the two two of the biggest tournaments in the world or biggest tournaments in the VGC side of things back to back this year. Like one went 800, the next one went like what, 850 or something like that. Regardless though, the growth was in incredible and yet they continue to just try to merge us with TCG and this is a huge hit to the local scene. Now, there's going to be some scenes that won't be affected because right now obviously some TOs are linked to stores and they're all set up and good to go. Of course, other scenes are going to take a hit here. And I'm curious, is do you guys think this is a good change for the game? Do you think it's necessarily a bad change for the game? Uh, once again, my thoughts, July 1st, start? Absolutely, more, more the merrier, uh, more time to play this game. A little bit of good prep for Worlds if you did attend Worlds, this, or if you are planning on attending Worlds, you get a little bit of good uh, prep time there, good prep there as well. And I think it's great. Once again, more chances to earn your invite. 
And the only downside to that, once again, if you were looking to have a little bit of break, you may be a little bit more enticed to keep grinding this game now, right? Rather than having that break, rather than having that cooldown, you may feel a little bit more forced to get out to these events. Other than that, I think the July change, uh, the July 1st change, a W, I support that one. Lower championship points payouts, I'm indifferent on this one, right? I've seen so many circuit changes and so many circuit structures and change over the time. If they are planning to adapt those payouts, I am still uncertain. I'm not going to speak on that. However, I do expect them to go a little bit lower with the championship points payouts from locals. However, maybe their plan to lower championship points payouts was just to make there be less locals, which really doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, I know a few of my friends were talking and it's like, it's like trying to fix a broken hand by just simply cutting off the hand rather than just fixing what was wrong with the hand, right? And it feels a little bit like that. So that's a pretty good way to put it. Of course, I can't speak on the championship points or my thoughts on that right now because they could update those. They probably will update those. I'm not going to speak on that. I was basing those numbers on last year. That could entirely change. They may not be lower, right? That could just be an assumption I'm making. But I can't see them raising them back to what VGC had. However, the big hit here, why I think this really hurts the circuit, is you are limiting the local scene. And limiting one of the biggest reasons players play this game is massive to me. Right. When you look at this, you say, wow, this could be a really great change. There is all kinds of leagues out there. The problem is a lot of these leagues for TCG are TCG only. Right. So the TCG organizers do not like to host VGC. And I understand why. Right. I went over it. The, the TCG players bring money into the store. Right. Video game players don't do that as on the same scale. Right. Yeah. We're going to buy the cool card to celebrate the fact that we win the event with a scrafty or whatever. Right. But we're not going to go in there and buy seven packs or we're not going to go in there and buy a booster box. It's going to be very rare for us to do so. Right? So we don't generate as much money. So these TCG organizers tend to not want to open up to us. And if that does result in less leagues or in less local scene tournaments, that is a massive hit for the community. If it wasn't for my local scene, I wouldn't be playing this game. Right? Going to locals is massive. It is a massive part to get experience. It is massive steps towards your invite as well. And limiting the amount of locals that we are going to potentially have is a huge hit. I am not a huge fan of that. I'm not sure as to what scale this is really going to hit us on. Like, I don't know how big of an impact this may have, right? I'm sure certain areas will be fine, but I'm sure other areas are going to take a massive hit. And that part I'm incredibly disappointed about. But let me know your thoughts down below, guys. I've rambled on way longer than I thought I was going to for this video. But that's pretty much where I'm at right now. If you guys do enjoy this type of content, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. And of course, I will be keeping you updated on all these circuit changes going into the next season as we are understanding of them. But with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you all in a future video.